As phase two of Ontario's reopening plan begins this week, I'm joined now by a local restaurateur, the owner of Schnitzel's, Hassan. Welcome to the show. Hello, how are you doing today? I'm doing very well. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, so uh, Hassan, let's start uh, way back in March. It feels like a lifetime ago, uh, but the uh, provincial order came down. Restaurants had to close. Uh, Schnitzel's uh, certainly pivoted very quickly to yep. uh, remain open in some capacity. So let's talk about how that process went. Uh, so I remember it like it was actually yesterday. Uh, it was on the uh, it was on a Tuesday when they did the announcement. Uh, we were sitting in the bar and it was just we had the TV on, a few uh, customers in the restaurant, and everyone was just facing that TV, just waiting for the announcement of are they shutting down restaurants or not. And uh, whenever they did that announcement, it was just you could feel it in our hearts, just like crumble. You know, we weren't sure what the next steps were, how long we we're going to be closed. It was just so. So in the air, um, uh, it's it's one of those days I'll never forget. And the weekend before was St. Patrick's weekend, so we were we weren't as busy as usual because of what was happening. Um, uh, so r right there we saw an effect because of what was going on. And then yeah, like I said, that Tuesday popped in, and it was just it was a whole different world. It didn't feel it felt like a movie. Um, and it's just it's still it's still I I still can't believe it, you know. Uh, it was a very hard day for all of us. Um, I I took it the hardest, you know, being a new business owner. Uh, I just took over back in October uh, from my uh, previous business partner. We were we were together since 2015, and it was just being that new guy solo taking over this big of a beast and this going on was just shocking, you know. And it was uh, hard the first couple weeks not being open. Um, we I, every night I was just trying to figure out what uh, what what can I do to make sure that schnitzels will continue and that I have a restaurant for my employees for my uh, guests to come back to you know I I don't want to be the guy that closed down schnitzels European flavors right I can't be that guy so I was I just kept trying and trying and trying to figure out ideas um, you know the grocery store idea just like uh, across the street. Um, I thought that was an amazing idea whenever I saw it on, on, uh, online at the, in Ottawa and stuff, but that's a whole different ball game. And I didn't really want to go towards that because again, schnitzels, we are, we are a restaurant, right? And that's all I know. I know how to be a restaurant guy. I don't know how to be a grocery guy, even though we still have pretty much the same guidelines and everything, but it was just, I kept trying to figure out, okay, what, what can I do to make sure that these doors are still open? And uh, three weeks later, we we went ahead with uh, takeout since the government allowed us to do uh, alcohol deliveries. And what was the response from the community? I know uh, I saw online that a lot of people were excited when Schnitzel's uh, started offering those options, including delivery now. Uh, I believe you're doing a delivery shift yes. tonight, you said. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we are now doing delivery. Um, so whenever we came back, we, uh, we weren't doing delivery right away. We were just doing a curbside pickup. And uh, that worked out really well. It, we People were very excited that we were open again. If When the Thursday came, it was just it felt like it was a normal day. Obviously, it wasn't because we were taking our food outside, bringing it to the car. We asked people to pop their trunk. You know, the interactions weren't there. Um, it, it was still weird, but it felt like schnitzels again. Our menu did get condensed down because we were not able to do what we were uh, we, what we had before. And uh, so people were very excited. And with the chance of serving alcohol, people were just amazed by it. Everyone wanted our, you know, signature sangria and, uh, you know, every other cocktail. But with the guidelines, we weren't allowed to actually make pre drinks. So what we came up with was do it yourself cocktails. So we gave you the, the mix, we gave you the recipe. And there was a little bottle of, let's say, vodka, tequila, a bottle of wine. And we put that aside and you built your drink at home and people are loving that idea because, you know, it's like uh, you you feel like a bartender without really trying to figure out how to do it all. We cut the garnishes for you. We threw them in containers. Um, and uh, yeah, it was just people were very, uh, very happy about that. And uh, our sales went went up. <laughs> I can only imagine, and of course, uh, people were just as excited. Uh, I'm sure you most of all uh, uh, when the news came down that uh, as of Friday, uh, restaurants can reopen for patio service. So talk to me about that. Oh uh, uh, man, I I was at home, and again, I was just waiting for him to announce it. And my windows were open. It was a beautiful day on Monday, and my I started screaming with excitement. My neighbors next door actually looked over, and they're like, "Oh my God, what's going on over there?" You know, I was so excited that 
I'm able to have at least a minimum of people on my patio and that's going to help out so much. Uh, we're still trying to figure out exactly how everything's going to function because they didn't really come out with much guidelines for restaurant. Uh, we've been following the rest, uh, Restaurant Canada's guidelines, and that's mostly for ev every province. Just kind of, you know, take notes of uh, who's coming in through the door. Uh, you should request that everyone wear a mask whenever they're they're, they're moving around the restaurant, uh, when they're coming in through the door or leaving, going to the washrooms. So we're putting in up guidelines like that to ensure the safety of our, our employees and other guests. Uh, we'll have one-way entrance and one-way exit. So that way there, there's no passing through uh, anyone. There's still that social distancing happening. Um, and we are in place of putting arrows down on the floor uh, around our pizza sta station. There's going to be plexiglass just because you are walking by that station to go towards the washrooms. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's, we're, I'm so excited to just, just to talk with people again. We are people that need to socialize. This is why we do this. We socialize with people. We love serving people. And with the takeout, it was, it was very short. I, I'm doing deliveries right now. And if it's, it's nice because I see some of our regulars and I'm just like, Hey, how are you doing? I want to chat with them a little bit more, but we can't. So it's just going back to the patio. Now it's just like, yes, we have that time to see how everyone's doing. And, you know, we want to make sure they're all happy. Right. And Having those, the patio back is great. We're not full capacity out there because we are doing the six feet uh, distancing with our table. So we did drop down in a, uh, about five tables on our patio. We added an, onto the right side of our patio, there's a small section. We added three tables there. So that now is our uh, accessible patio for anyone that has uh, any mobility issues. Uh, and I'm also working on trying to uh, get the uh, stone area next to Schnitzel. So I'm applying for some uh, applications there just to see if it's possible. I could, I'm gonna speak with my neighbors and you know, I don't wanna make anyone mad. And uh, yeah, it's if we can't close down Pitt Street, let me figure out another way, right? Because we are losing a lot, a lot of space in our restaurant. And I wanna bring back my employees. You know, they're, they're the reason why this business is here. It's not me, it's not just the managers, it's the whole team. And without them, this place isn't the same. So I need to figure out how can I bring all most of them back if I can all of them back and really get the revenue that I need you know I'm not here to make millions of dollars not even close I'm just here to make sure those doors stay open and everyone has a job again you know so this patio is going to help out a lot absolutely and we can't understate the importance of that for the employees and of course their families their livelihoods and That's the it. benefits that that has for the local economy uh, but of course uh, we, safety is first of mind and you mentioned a lot of things that uh, that you're doing to ensure that uh, patrons yeah. are kept safe but for people visiting the restaurant as of Friday what can they do to make sure that the that the, the process is smooth and safe for everybody uh, well if they have any symptoms uh, we request that you don't come into the restaurant uh, if even if you, uh, we do reservations you're more than welcome to cancel them and we'll book you another time the patio is always going to be there uh, we request that everyone wears a mask when entering the, the establishment um, when you're sitting at a table we won't request it um, uh, our our servers will have masks on or they'll have a shield so that way there there is that uh, you know that blockage um, uh, but again all we ask is come in don't have any symptoms. If you're feeling anything, just stay home. Think of other people uh, and also um, be nice with the servers. It's been a very long time since they've been working. Uh, same thing with the kitchen guys. There's a lot of people that haven't been working for about two, two and a half months now. So it's gonna be a little bumpy at first and you know they're gonna try their best. They're, they're gonna have a lot more on their plate now. Uh, when we come to clean our tables and everything, it's gonna take a little bit longer because we really have to sanitize every little bit of that set, uh, that table chair everything so all i ask is patience stay home not feeling good and please wear a mask when entering uh, our establishment um, uh, just again it's just the safety for everyone right follow the guidelines that the uh, that the government's giving to us they're there for a reason and it's just again it's just to think about every, everyone else you know it's without everyone you're not here right we need each other so those are the only things that we ask respect wear a mask and stay home if you can Absolutely. And just finally, Hassan, uh, I, I asked this of every downtown business that we're speaking with, and we know that, uh, that our downtown saw a renaissance right before this crisis. Um, so maybe I can just finish off and ask you, uh, where do you see the downtown after this? Uh, how do we picture uh, post-COVID uh, our I downtown? See, I see a closer downtown now. Um, I see us communicating a lot more than we did before. Uh, I feel like before it was more like each business was on their own. 
But with what happened, we're communicating a lot more. There's a lot more helping out of each other. And it's, I think it's going to be a tighter, tighter community and people will want to uh, build businesses down here. People will not want to leave. So I think you know, what happened because of this situation, this pandemic, it will bring all of us together and make our downtown the spot everyone wants to go to, just like any other big city, you know. Uh, the market in Ottawa is a prime location that people love to go. And I know we could do this with our what we have down here and the people that own businesses here. This is what we want. We want people to come see us. Don't go to the big shops. They're not there. To, they're not the ones that are helping your small uh, soccer teams or anything. We are the ones that do that for you. And the community right now, we're, we're very tight. Andre Pummy is very, uh, very uh, generous with his uh, offering of his uh, patio area. Chris Monroe down the road, she's like the leader of Pitt Street right now. Uh, and all the new guys down here too. It's just, we're a new, I think we're a new family. Pitt Street's a new family now. Absolutely. On that note, uh, Hassan, I want to thank you so much for joining me for this uh, great discussion about schnitzels and uh, where you've been, where you're going, and of course, uh, the state of the downtown because we know how important it is to our city. So thank you so yeah. much for joining me. Thank you for having me. Have a lovely day and uh, we'll see you guys on our patio soon.